What's going on, guys? It's Olympia weekend, and I feel like giving back to you guys to show some appreciation for all the support you guys give me. So at Hostile.com, we're going to do free shipping for U.S. orders only till tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. And use code Olympia to get the free shipping. Pick the standard shipping option. Doesn't matter if you order one thing or if you order 10 things, you're going to get free shipping from Hostile.com. Use code Olympia. Thank you, guys. It's just a little bit of appreciation from me for all the support you guys give me and my company and the podcast. So thank you guys very much. Enjoy the Olympia. Thanks for watching. He's adorable too. It's okay. We can record. This is all real shit. Show him Titan. This is Titan. The most important part of this interview. The that's the that's the older one. Yeah, he's twelve. He's cute as fuck too. Had three he's times. So he's a trooper. Show the show me the puppy again. We didn't catch before the recording started. Oh my <laughs> god, he's great. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I feel like I. Uh, I feel yeah. like I have a baby. I have to wake up every fucking day at like five or six in the morning to take him out for a leak. It's killing me summer feels because she has the dog and you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're such an asshole and we hear an actual baby and your dog yeah all right okay more okay okay more importantly more importantly dude biggest show of your life and uh i have to ask you this and i'm going to be completely blunt so going into the show i think you're kind of like under the radar a little bit I wasn't, I didn't hear really anybody other than Ben have you in the top. So lucky to Ben, but he might be privy to information that the rest of us weren't, but Ben had you in the top six. Did it feel good going into the show flying under the radar or did you want more hype? You know, honestly, um, it was definitely a decision that I made, you know, headed into this show. Cause you know, in the past um, we've done a lot of content around the shows, but at the end of the day, it was, you know, me slash Labrata slash gas doing the content, you know, so it was, you know, my choice to be putting it out. And, you know, this prep when we finish up Chicago, it was a short turnaround before, you know, like we had to put the blinders back on and start getting ready for the O. And, uh, you know, for the entire Chicago prep, we had been like brutally consistent with the content. So for this one, I was just kind of, uh, you know, wanting to do my own thing and just kind of keep it a little more closed off than normal. So, you know, that's exactly what we did. And I have peanut butter all over my face. I was just going to ask you, which people are going to ask me. So what are you, what are you eating right now? Um, I just had 100 grams of filet, 300 grams of white rice. And I'm eating two English muffins with a little bit of raspberry preserves and then four chunks of pineapple. Yeah, and some almond butter. So you're still loading. Hard. Yeah, we ate a lot of food yesterday, and uh, we, we burnt through it all pretty hard. So uh, we are way tighter than we were yesterday morning. We were, you know, three or four pounds lighter than yesterday morning, actually. But, you know, visually just as good. Lighter. So, you know, we're going to fill it out. And uh, I'm, I'm really, you know, everyone, everyone says they're going to improve for finals. Well, look at my track record. I have a track record of majorly improving for finals, but, you know, showing up to prejudging like a water buffalo. Um, yeah. I'm not going to say I nailed it by any means yesterday, but I definitely wasn't a water buffalo up here yet. Well, I don't, I don't think you were a water buffalo. It was the best I've seen you on stage, but if you woke up three or four pounds lighter today and you're still full, it's going to be something to look forward to tonight. So you still have all the fullness, but you're down three or four pounds? Yeah, yeah. We woke up in about the same spot, you know, visually a lot tighter. Um, you know, while we were three or four pounds down, everything was still, you know, like popping and full when compared to the other morning looks, you know, everything's relative and you got to compare apples to apples <laughs> but uh <coughs> yeah so as far as morning looks go this morning the sharpest look we've had all week by a long shot so so you say we who's who's helping you for your prep what's going on right now um what's going on right now is you know it's uh something that's been happening you know for over a year now and that is that i'm getting to a point where <clears throat> You know, I feel like we've really learned my body very well, you know, to the point where in the off season, it's, you know, the, the, the ship steers itself kind of deal. Um, you know, just with the check-ins and the scales trending, we're good. And then on prep, you know, um, you know, the last Chicago prep, we dialed it in as a team. And, uh, you know, this one, you know, uh, Liv and I basically did everything ourselves headed into the show just because, you know, uh, she sees me every morning. She's got a very good handle 
um, and a very good eye because, you know, I'll be the first one to say that while I have a very good handle on, you know, protocols and what adjustments should be made, it's, you know, the, the eye looking at it, you know, to make those calls that she has much better than I do. So, you know, doing it with her and then, you know, these last couple of weeks, obviously Ben's always a phone call away to me as consider him a good friend before we started doing this. But, uh, you know, between how him and Liv get along and the fact that he was able to be kind of a buffer between Liv and I, you know, as I got a little deeper into prep and, you know, I'm not one to get angry. I'm not one to get, you know, I'm not, I, I'd like to think I'm not that hard to deal with, but in the same breath, you know, as things go on and, you know, if I have to start taking food or bumping my cardio, I feel like, you know, Ben was a, a, a good buffer for that. And, you know, whenever I'm hearing it from two people that, you know, I trust completely, you know, it's a lot easier to put my, you know, feelings aside and, you know, just put my head down and work. So, you know, it's, we kind of fell into it, but, uh, you know, obviously proofs in the pudding. This is the best I've ever looked by a long shot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is the uh, least stressed I've ever been for a show. And I was telling them last night too, you know, out of every show I've ever done, amateur or professional, last night was the farthest away that I've ever been from cramping while on stage, if that makes great. sense. Yeah, that's great. Not so, a, never a second that I was even kind of concerned about anything like that. So let me ask Liv, since he just said that, is he, is he hell to deal with? Because I know I thought I was good to deal with, but my wife is like, you're a total asshole. So is, is a hunter okay to deal with, or does he yeah. get like crazy like the rest of us? This is prep three within our relationship. And our first two preps, one, he wasn't ready for the show. So he never dug deep enough. He never had to, he never got to a point um, where he was like, you know, dying. And yeah. this prep, we were doing things differently. Um, and I will say out of this entire prep, out of the, all the other preps, there was one day where I was like, if I have to do this for the next 10 years, <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it but then yeah. prep is over and it's like I can do one day every yeah. week, every year yeah. and you know with, with Ben coming in you know we we got to a point where you know obviously he has always prep is <laughs> easy but um he had to dig deeper here and yeah I being someone who feeds off of emotion um you know I feel his emotion and you know though I'm looking at him and I'm not, I'm not the nicest human when it comes to, you know, telling him how it is. It mm -hmm. was still like, I'm, I'm coming home and I have energy and he's dead. And it's like, okay, I make X, but then I see, and I'm a little bit influenced by the emotion aspect. So, yeah. you know, to then be like, oh, oh, Ben, all right. You know, it, it, can you suck it up? Like, can I yeah. just tell him to yeah. suck it up? And can you tell him to suck it up? So that yeah. essentially our relationship. Yeah, yeah takes a hit and me and Ben get along so well and it's yeah. more like like even yesterday we were both like having an aneurysm just like going back and forth like did one of us like are we right are we wrong is he flat is he not like yeah yeah but like okay like should we do this maybe well, maybe, maybe back sitting and here forth like barely away from the three brain cells letting them be us <laughs> that's the way it's got to be though you know well, it's freak out about us being all stressed out and having a terrible if you know bodybuilding you know it's the the inner circle the crew around the competitor that is the most stressed the weekend Shots. yeah well i was gonna say it's uh it's kind of cool you have like a family affair going and ben jumping in you're pretty you're probably like just saving their relationship from the sounds of it because i was gonna ask like as his girlfriend you're it's got to be hard at some point to be like, you know, suck it up, do this, do that, whatever you got. it. So it's good having Ben on the other side to kind of reinforce whatever it is that uh, you're trying to push him to do. And in the same breath, you know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, both of them have been there and done that. I always, yeah. you know, say this, you know, it's like no one likes the fat high school football coach telling you to sprint. Well, no one likes, you know, the fat out of shape coach telling you to go kill yourself on the stairs and not eat anything all day. I'm saying yeah. two people who suffer way worse than I ever have to on prep. To exactly. Get in shape. So, so, like him, though, I, we can agree that this is going to be his best conditioning to date, can yeah. still improve for sure. But yeah. to date, best conditioning, you know, he, he still did not have to die. Like, mm -hmm. Ben and I just share this mutual lack of ability to easily get in condition. Mm -hmm. So we, we just know like, okay, cool. You have 40 fucking minutes of cardio. Good for you. You know, yeah. like two hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, 
you know, both of us are like, listen, dude, like I, I know he can take <laughs> I know he can take more. Yeah. You know? And that that's where I think it came in and I was like, let's just keep the foot down. Yeah. And then, do we is he too fat? Like, no, no, no. You can you can actually say he's tired, he's having shit. Like, yeah, it's okay. He like he is he's stronger and like mentally stronger than he gives himself credit for. Keep pushing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can, like there's more to come. So what how did it feel being part of this, Ben? Because this is I know you have a lot of clients, but obviously this is your highest profile client. Not that he's your client, but just being part of the team, how did that feel? having some input into somebody with such a high caliber physique. Incredibly stressful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it would be the opposite though, because you know, this is, this, can I just explain? So the common theory is guys like Hunter are genetic freaks and a monkey could train them. So do you, people would assume that you would feel less stressed. So, but you're saying, you're saying it's worse. It's look, look, I mean, they're the real MVPs. if it's, Someone at the Olympia level, it's 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 high stakes. It's the Super Bowl, right? That's where you're at. The fact that Hunter and I are good, genuinely good friends before any of that. Yeah. So I want him to do well on a personal note. Forget what the business side of things, or in terms of the professional thing. As a friend, I, from the outside, I have always wanted him to crack it. Yeah, yeah. If I can be involved in that, there's responsibility in that, and. Mm -hmm as much as I trust my own abilities and what I know, that's still, I'm responsible now for, part responsible for, because if, if it goes wrong, it's this food. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and he'll do that. Yeah, I know he will. I know he will. <laughs> <laughs> so can I ask, so can I ask Hunter? So I know a lot of coaches pretend to be, or don't pretend, I don't want to say pretend, but coaches that I've had in the past, or I hear coaches all the time with other athletes talk about how their friends and their family and they care about their athletes. It doesn't get any closer than this for you. So how does it feel having two people that are more like just as invested as you are in this whole thing? Man, uh, I think the best way to say it's my go-to line about things like this. And that is I get to do what I love with the people that I love for a living. And, yeah. Uh, it's literally, there's no bigger blessing in the world than that. So um, it's surreal, but uh, it, it, it's incredible. You know, I get I get to literally do what I love with the people that I love. And, yeah, uh, it's it's really cool. I mean, I, I know that's like a really like just like nonchalant way to describe it, but it's no, it's just it's very 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 cool to me. You know, I don't have yeah. to you know go back and forth with a stranger on WhatsApp or you know I don't have to like you know like get so emotionally invested with someone that, you know, at the end of the day is a complete stranger to me. Cause I see, yeah. I see that happen more than anything is people talk about how like their coach is like their best yeah. friend or something. Like, no, you just been talking to him five fucking times a day for the last year straight. And yeah. like, it's been become like a little personal God to you. Yeah, it's, and yeah. that's not, like, I don't do well with that. You know, I, I do well working with, you know, the friends, the people that I, I don't want to let down, you know? Um, yeah. Makes sense. You know, in the prepping, it's really different for me. You know, if I was working with, you know, Joe Blow versus, you know, like Liv and Ben. Well, it's like, okay, well, shit, I need to do right by them. They're doing this for me. I got I to gotta work for them. You yeah, know? So, yeah. Yeah, I uh, work doing it with people that I, I know on a personal level. Yeah, I want to get into the X's O's just for a second. I don't want to keep you too long because I know it's obviously you're going on stage in like a few hours. But so yesterday after the show, and, and maybe Ben and Liv can touch on this too if you want. Yesterday after the show, you guys look. Hunter, you already said kind of earlier that you didn't feel like it was your very best. So you look and you're like, okay, I could be better. What's the plan look like when you get off stage? Where do you go first? Are you going to eat more food? Are you going to sit in a sauna? Are you going to do cardio? Are you just trying to sleep? Like, what are you, what's the plan for everybody listening? So what we did last night was we determined that we were pretty happy with the level of conditioning and dryness we had. Um, obviously it could be a little better. So we are planning on improving that for finals, but our biggest thing was we feel like I could have been a lot fuller. And I feel like that would have you know, uh, checked, you know, both boxes in terms of making me look tighter too, you know, having the skin pushing a little more. Sure. That, and then, you know, uh, I got, I'm not going to say lucky last night, but you know, like last night we only had to pose, you know, three rounds. I feel like it would have been a pretty different story for me in a bad way. You know, if we had to end up going, you know, five, six, or seven, like they've done in a couple shows this year, just because uh, yeah. 
you know, even by the end of the third one, I could, you know, stuff was getting a little like flat feeling. We could see me fade a little. So headed into tonight, you know, like I said, we woke up in that great spot of, you know, being, you know, not super flat, but very much so tighter than yesterday morning. And then, you know, we hit a big meal last night and then we fit two big meals today. I'm about to take a nap. We'll do one more big meal. And then it's kind of, you know, fly by the seat of our pants from there. But, you know, the main thing going into the, uh, in, into the finals tonight is, uh, really, uh, you know, pushing fullness, making sure I'm coming in as full as possible. What does, uh, what does, what does water manipulation look like at this? Cause I, I, I told Ben earlier in a different podcast that I hated two day shows because I used to cut water the day before, like the, the Thursday night and I would not drink until fucking Saturday after finals. So what does water manipulation look like for you? So here's the thing. So we, we kind of, the look that we hit what's prejudging was the best that, that we could present, but while still improving into the final, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to have him like completely peaked and then be trying to fight a rebound into tomorrow. Exactly. So that's why we had to get the condition as good as we could within the, the time frame that where Liv and I were working together. So we kind of got him flatter than he normally is so that we could feed him up into it and, and play with food a little more. Yeah. Him into it, but I tell you, he goes. Another thing that made a big difference was y'all were able to pull my cardio by like Sunday. But did you? But did you? Uh, what I want to know is like, are you still drinking water? Like last night, are you still drinking water today? Let's drink that yeah. right now. So this meal has uh, eight ounces of water with it. Okay. This is the first time that we've made a big water reduction today. Okay. So we make a slight water reduction yesterday around meal two, kind of around three. Yeah, after the nap that he had. So two, three o'clock, we started putting water down, but we have water high. So once you, if it's high, we yeah. have water down, so we're never taking it fully out. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, you know, historically, he is, he's a water buffalo. Um, you see on stage, he gets crit criticized on stage for sweating so much. Um, yeah. We were able to see a level of dryness this year still on two gallons of water. So the driest and the hardest that we had seen him, he was still drinking two gallons of water, and that was, at, that was prior to meal five. So- Okay pre-judging time with two gallons of water so we really didn't need to cut it cut yeah. it and like as he's hitting pre-judging and everything you saw last night i knew going to bed we could feed him because he was still in the process of drying out even more yeah so that carried through to the morning it's like all right i mean he, like you saw him last night on the way to his absolute peak rather, yeah yeah rather than nailing him to the mast last night and then trying to hold something for another 24 hours. I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Going into tonight, you know, obviously he looked his best, but there was so much room for improvement going. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's just not, not because of his track record of, you know, once he eats a little more, he looks better. It's like, yeah, he, he could, we could have pushed food hard. And though maybe we could have done that before prejudging, that's going to show so much more into finals. So sure. So, um, one of the things that shocked me is you said you felt a little flatter or like you were flattening out a little bit there, but one of the things that shocked me aside from flat or full or water was your, just your size. I don't know how much size you put on since Chicago, but you know, Nick is a very heavily muscled person and hottie has always been seen as like a really, you know, shorter, thicker guy. I felt like, you know, hottie's conditioning was incredible. He's very complete, but just sheer size wise. You were bigger than much bigger than Hottie and and bigger than Nick and uh, so was think, have you put on any muscle since Chicago or is it just because we haven't seen you next to them? I put on a little bit of muscle exactly where it needed to go and that was my back and then uh, you know how they say bodybuilding is an illusion. Uh, definitely, you know, am way way tighter for this show than I've ever been in my life. So I think yeah. that had a lot to do with it too. And then you know, as funny as this sounds. I think I have like a a uh, stereotype about me that I am a smaller guy, just A, because of who my dad is, and B, because of how well my physique does flow. You know, if you see a yeah. picture of me by myself, I don't look like a mass monster, but, you know, if I hop on a scale, I was 254 pounds peeled to the bone this morning. No, uh, you – it's, so it's one of those things uh, – I don't think people really realize how big I am until I'm standing next to other people who they think are big. No, I, I, like, I realize how muscular you are. To me, it was your shoulder width. I didn't realize how wide you were because I've seen you at other shows and I don't know, maybe you just competed against bigger guys before, but you just seemed wider than Hottie and Nick standing. What'd you say? 
maybe he's competed against bigger guys than Rami. No, I'm saying when he was standing next, I mean, maybe previous shows, because he competed against Ian before, right? So, you know, if you talk about like guys like Ian or Brett, you know, they're taller guys and they with wider like, shoulders. Yeah. Both, both, uh, um, Hottie and Nick, you know, they're heavily, heavily muscle, but a little more narrow through the clavicles than shorter than guys. Yeah. You got like Ian or, you know, a guy like, uh, yeah. Brett is. Yeah. No, it was just, it was nice to see. I was like, wow, man, he's, he's really, you've like, we're much, much bigger than I thought. So, Okay, so last couple questions before you go. Uh, when you walk off stage yesterday, are you feeling anything up or down? Or are you just still monotone because you know you got more work to do today? No, I'm up coming off the last night. Yeah, you felt good, right? Yeah, no, I feel really good. I'm headed in tonight, Ryan, to, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Tonight, tonight's my night. Tonight's my thing. It's, uh, it's the posing routines. I've got a great routine. Um, I am always better at finals than I am at prejudging. And, uh, I always get better if they work as hard. So I hope they work as hard tonight. So I'm what's, tonight. what's a top five finish mean for you, man? Cause I think your best to date is eighth or seventh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? What did I miss? Hunter likes to shop. So we, I don't get to say exactly what it was. We were walking around the shopping mall and so I, I've had a conversation a few times with Hunter about nice watches. Yeah. So we walked past a, a store and I said, Hey, when did you say you were going to treat yourself? And he said, when I get top five. And I said, oh, so we'll come back on Sunday and get it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What, what was it? I wonder what kind of watch was it? What is that? Is it a Rolly? The one he has on is a Rolly, yeah. Okay. Ben's a watch snob. Ben is. I'm a watch you're, you're, a, you're a yacht snob. And I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you busted my balls. You, bu you, bu <laughs> you busted my balls for wanting a yacht. This motherfucker's wearing Rolexes. You got the Manscaped ad money. You don't worry about that. It's right here, baby. I got the, they got new shampoo and conditioner. Oh, here. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. No. Um, all right, listen. Uh, listen, to, it's crazy, man. What you're doing is nuts. I can't believe you moved up into the top five. I mean, I, I actually have you fourth and third battling with Nick, but uh, it's insane. So, I don't know. We're looking forward to seeing you tonight, man. I hope you come back and crush it. And your routines are always awesome. So, do you guys want to, is there anything you guys want to say, anybody, before we kind of go for the day? Appreciate all the support from all y'all. It's been really cool having y'all uh, following along this prep. And uh, it's been really cool doing it with these two. Looking forward to uh, showing my best ever in, you know, five, four or five hours. <laughs> so right. I'm, I'm going to go get in bed for 30 minutes. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy your nap, Hunter. I will uh, talk to you guys all very soon. Appreciate you, uh, Okay, boys and girls. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.